This week's reading is called Kisteite, when you go out. It's one of those readings that actually has so many teachings, so many mitzvot, commandments, that it's difficult to pick and choose and say, I'm going to talk about this, I'm going to talk about that. You could talk about so many ideas because 73, 74 of the commandments of the Torah, which are 613, that means more than 10%, are actually found in this particular reading. So instead of saying, I'm going to choose this or that, let's start with the beginning. The Torah brings a verse. And the verse says, when you go out to the war against your enemies, and God gives your enemy in your hand, and you will take captive. And then it continues. I invite each one of you to go and read the text. And you will find whatever happens with this particular mitzvah. That I don't want to go into details right now. But the point is that there are two parts, so to speak, like two sides of the coin to each one of the mitzvahs of the Torah. First of all, you have the side of the coin, so to speak, a practical and real material, so to speak, application of that particular commandment. It's talking about a war. It's talking about conquering somebody else. It's talking about seeing within the conquered people somebody you like, etc., etc. Go read. That's what it's talking about. Does this apply today? The answer is no. Today we don't have a king in the land of Israel. Today we don't have a Sanhedrin, the great court that decides laws. So many conditions. People don't live over there. We don't count the years as it used to be before, etc., etc. Doesn't really matter the details. But the point is. We don't have the necessary conditions to fulfill this particular commandment. So a person might ask, okay, so I might say, that's it. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't really matter. Parenthesis, this is a very short answer. If you get it, fine. If you don't get it, forget it. The point is, it's a very short answer to those that say, ah, today we cannot keep the commandments. Anyway, nobody does it. Wait a second. When the conditions are not met to keep a specific commandment, you are automatically exempt of that commandment. So it's not that you're not keeping the commandment. You, you don't have to. Okay, let's close parenthesis and let's move on. That's one side of the coin, the practical application of the commandment. However, even if the practical application of the commandment does not apply, actually, for the, because of the conditions, they don't, we don't meet the conditions, the spiritual part of the commandment, it does apply. And you can take things out of the commandment and apply them to your daily life, wherever you are, in whatever time you live. What's the teaching over here? So first of all, let's read again. When you go out to the war, which war are you talking about? We're not talking about something physical, a war against the enemy. It's a, no, no, no. This is a war that expresses everywhere and every time. What are you talking about? There's a word inside of you, between your good part and your bad part. And there con there's a constant conflict over there. Should I do good or should I not do good? Should I do this or that? Should I fulfill the will of God or not? Should I fulfill my own will or the will of God? If they're deferred. <laughs> they shouldn't, but they could be deferred. So there's a word inside of each one of the persons in the whole world at all times. And sometimes our sages teach, actually in the Hasidic, movement, sometimes the war does not end, never. It will never end. You will. You were born to fight, actually, this war, and you should war, fight this war every single day, because actually the bad part inside of you, every single day becomes stronger and stronger and stronger, so you have to fight more and more and more. And the Torah gives us a promise. God, your Lord, will give your enemy in your hand, but there's a condition. The condition is, when you go out to the world, let's read again, al oivecha. That's the two Hebrew words that the Torah uses to say, against your enemy. That's fine. Nice translation. However, when you go deeper into this, al oivecha means on top of your enemy. If your attitude is that when you go out to the world, when you, you really understand what's the will of God, and you want to fulfill it, but you have difficulties, you have challenges. Your own bad part challenges you. Why should you do that? No, etc., etc. You should know that if your attitude is al oivecha, that you are from the beginning on top of your enemy. So therefore, God is going to give your enemy in your hand, and not just you will you will win, so to speak, a battle or a war, whatever the case is, but you will actually take captives. What does that mean? Our sages explain that there's, again, a good part inside of you and a bad part inside of you. 
in the bad part has a very strong will, so to speak, usually tied to emotions. Emotions are strong in a person, whether the good part is more like intellectual. An intellect is like a cold thing, doesn't have strength. But when they get actually combined, when you actually have the strength of emotions and the mind, so to speak, and the focus of intellect, you can go to much, much higher levels of service to God. So that's what it means. You're actually your enemy, which is like the strength of emotions, the animalistic part, the bad part is inside of you. Actually, when you, you can take the strength that it lives with, that it deals with every single thing in life with, that energy, enthusiasm, etc. When you take that, you will actually take captives. So let's read the verse again. If you actually take this strong decision, strong commitment to fight this war and to go out to the war and don't get discouraged because of the difficulties, when you actually do this with the attitude to be on top of your enemy, God will give you your enemy in your hands. And not just that, but you will actually extract captives, quote unquote, from your enemy in order to use them in the good way for the service of God. 